Hello folks, welcome to Zork 1. We're going to start playing the game here. So the first thing we're going to do is open the mailbox. Yes, you are standing in an open field west of a white house with a board front door. There is a small mailbox here. Opening the mailbox reveals a leaflet. Get. Leaflet. Read. Leaflet. And the leaflet says, Welcome to Zork. Zork is a game of adventure, danger, and low cunning. In it, you will explore some of the most amazing territory ever seen by mortals. No computer should be without one. I don't know how many videos it's going to take to get through this game. I started playing it last night. And yeah, it's it's a complex game. I forgot how complex game is, so you have to bear with me. One south. Yep, it's the south of White House. You are facing the south side of a White House. There is no door here, and all the windows are boarded. We're going east behind house. You are behind the white house. A path leads into the forest to the east. In one corner of the house, there is a small window which is slightly ajar. So open. Window. With great effort, you open the window far enough to allow entry We go west. And we got 10 points for that. We're now in the kitchen. You are in the kitchen of the White House. A table seems to have been used recently for the preparation of food. A passage leads to the west and a dark staircase can be seen leading upward. A dark chimney leads down and to the east is a small window which is open. On the table is an elongated brown sack smelling of hot peppers. A bottle is sitting on the table. The glass bottle contains a quart of water. So we're going to leave that here for now. I'm going to go west. Yep, living room. You are in the living room. There is a doorway to the east, a wooden door which strange gothic letters to the west, which appears to be nailed shut. A trophy case and a large oriental rug in the center of the room. Above the trophy case hangs an elvish sword of great antiquity. A battery-powered brass lamp is on the trophy case. Get lamp. Turn on lamp. Lamp is now on. Move rug. With a great effort, the rug is moved to one side of the room, revealing the dusty cover of a closed trap door. Open. Trap door.
Uh, you put one word or two, it doesn't matter. The trap door reluctantly opens to reveal a rickety staircase descending into darkness. So we're going down. Yeah, notice the trap door is shut behind us. The trap door crashes shut and you hear someone barring it. I wonder who that could be. I don't know. The game never tells us. But eventually, when we find another exit into this, the uh, cellar, the trap door will remain open. And for now, we have to open it every time we come down into the cellar. You are in a dark and damp cellar with a narrow passageway leading north and a callway to the south. On the west is the bottom of a steep metal ramp which is unclimbable. So we're going I think, south. Use the chisholm. You are on the east edge of a chisholm, the bottom of which cannot be seen. A narrow passage goes north, and the path you are on continues to the east. So we're going east. Now we're in the gallery. This is an artist gallery. Most of the paintings have been stolen by vandals with exceptional taste. The vandals left through either the north or west exits. Fortunately, there is still one chance for you to be a vandal. For on the far west wall is a painting of unparalleled beauty. Yes, get painting. And we got some points for that. Now we're going to think we're going to go north. Studio. A damn thief better not show up. This appears to have been an artist studio. The walls and the floors are splattered with paints of 69 different colors. Strangely enough, nothing of value is hanging here. At the south end of the room is an open door, also covered with paint. A dark and narrow chimney leads up from a fireplace. Although you might be able to get up it, it seems unlikely you could get back down. Zeusy attached to a wall is a small piece of paper. So, oh, read paper. Taken. Oh, you are the previous owner of Zork One, the great underground empire, a self contained and self maintaining universe. If used and maintained in accordance with normal operating practices for small universes, Zork will provide many months of trouble free operation. So we can drop paper. Or go up. Or what? What do you mean? Why oh, you got a brass lantern and a freaking? Oh, ow! I like drop that damn leaflet. Mm, darn game! Now go up. Yeah, so now we're going to west. Open case. We're gonna put our first treasure in the case. Again, case. Yes, we got our first treasure. Oh, we can save the game here.